Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, finally, to another episode of Splinter Cell here. This level, I like it and I also don't like it at the same time. There are certain parts that are really... Let's just say they're they're hard for the wrong reasons. They're unfair. And uh, I also had a lot of problems just um, getting this level to run correctly on my computer. But, um, anyways. Mostly, I'm just going to try and guide you through... Uh, there might be a little more commentary in this episode than in others because there are certain parts, there's just little tiny, small nuances you need to know in order to, to get through them. Um, it's really hard to explain, so I guess I'll just do it when I get there. Carol, this is Badri. The landmines are in place. Make sure nobody without the polarized thermal sensor enters the courtyard. Okay, so this was the first place where I was originally having trouble, and it was because um, of my video card. Um, I had to go into the INI file and change a few things in order to see the spotlight on the ground over here. You see the spotlight that's moving? Uh, the way my settings were in my INI file originally, I was not able to see the spotlight moving on the ground, and it made it basically impossible to get through this part. But I figured it out. If you're having the same problem, uh, hit me up with a message. I'll let you know what you need to do. But uh, we have some new goals, notes, and data stick. You guys can check that out if you want to. Um, all this stuff. But uh, what we're going to want to do next is wait for this um, this uh, head. or I keep calling it a headlight. It's not a headlight. It's a spotlight. Wait for the spotlight to pass one more time. And then we can go forward. Now, in this part, you need to kind of just basically take the exact path I'm taking because there are landmines on the ground all over this field here. I'll show you um, what they look like. You need to use your thermals a lot in this level. Did you see that spot that kind of lit up on the ground over there? Watch. There it is again. Those are landmines. So in order to avoid those, there's basically only really one way to get through this without hitting any of them. So just follow the path that that I'm uh, going on here. So once that light passes, you need to come over here, right up next, in, uh, right up against this crate. The spotlights won't see you here, but don't go on either side. See, there's two landmines there, so just wait here and uh, wait for the spotlights to pass again. Don't worry, they won't see you. As soon as this one passes, Start moving forward. Just do so really quietly because there are guards up on the top levels that can hear uh, really well, apparently. They have great hearing. See, right there, I went just a little too fast. Fortunately, it's okay because I'm going to get out of here before they have a chance to come down and find me. But, uh, yeah, you just need to move slowly through that part and uh, you'll be fine. This part... Uh, it also took me a little while to get it figured out. It's pretty freaking retarded. I, I I don't understand what's going on here. This light, for some reason, every few seconds will turn on really bright. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if that's like a legit security measure in real life. Like, I don't understand this part. But what you really need to avoid doing is moving when the light's on. And then also you'll be able to see when the light lights come back on see the panels kind of on the bottom level of the of the roof here if you walk on those the guys in the room downstairs will hear you there's only one place where there's an exception to that and that's right here so when the light turns off again i'll be able to go down and cross over to that other kind of bar thing there right here they don't hear you for some reason i don't know why but if you were to continue going to the right again they would hear that and uh, if they hear you once, they won't come after you. They'll just think it's rats or something. We check it out? Uh, it's they, I went too quickly through that part there. You, you can hear that they heard me. But if they hear you once, you're okay. So as long as you can get over here with them only hearing you once, they're, they're not going to come after you. Make sure you come all the way over against the wall here, though, because otherwise they will see you when those lights come back on. Well, once you get to here, you're pretty much safe for this portion of the level anyway.
What the hell just happened? The broadcast antenna's down. We've got no outgoing signal. We're under attack. The Americans are here. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nikolwans out of here. I want his helicopter airborne now. I want a squad of technicians with an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. I want the Americans found and killed. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's some guys coming after us. Uh, what you need to do is come right over here to this door and hide right behind it so that when they come out the door, we can sneak in right past them. And just come through here and immediately hook to the left in the shadows because there's another soldier that'll come up the stairs. Alright, now we're good to go. Just come down the stairs here, into this room. Now this part is um, a little bit tricky. You have to jump up onto this thing above you. Uh, there, There's a really particular spot you have to be in in order to ensure that Sam will grab it. It's like right exactly underneath it. Otherwise, you'll jump and fall and the guys downstairs will hear you. So you really got to watch out for that. But uh, there are two guys below us we need to take out. First guy's pretty easy. We just need to uh, come right over his head as he's washing his hands and uh, jump on top of him. I'm just going to put him over here in the corner for now, but eventually I'll hide him in a darker area. But uh, for this next guy, you're going to want to equip um, your sticky shockers and, uh, well, maybe an airfoil around. Hmm. Well, if you're, yeah, let's do airfoil rounds. But if you're all the way against this wall, he won't see you. Anywhere else, he will see you. But if you're all the way back against the wall, he won't see you. And if you aim just above his head, you should be able to hit him right in the face. And that will knock him out without having to uh, run up and punch him in the face. So that's pretty nice. You want to hide this guy quickly because there is another guard that will come in here just in a second. And he leaves himself open so he's not too hard to take out. He just goes to the locker over there on the right. Well, you get the idea. Uh, the rest of the place is not on alert. And I'm not going to record that whole thing over again just to knock out that one guy without him seeing me. Whatever. Kill me. He's not as creative as I am. Where are they? Ow! Oh, oh! Where? The basement. Where's Grinko? He'll murder you. He'll kill you all. Where do I find him? He'll find you. Kill me. That was Grinko. He wants us to escort the soldiers to the studio. You copy that, Fisher? The executions are going forward. I heard. We got any more diversions? Your gun's full of them. Make sure that escort doesn't reach our troops.
about the broadcast. It's not our place to question. Let's go. You want to walk a little bit slowly up here, otherwise the guys down, down below will hear you. Now this is going to be a great place. Uh, check on your goals and other things if you want to, but um, this is going to be a great place to equip the uh, diversion camera. Take all three of these guys out at once. Let me go ahead and put this thing right... What am I doing? Hit the wrong button. There we go. Right there, below this guy's feet. There we go. Get all three of them. Jump down. Knock them out. All right. So this is. I mean, the level so far has been pretty cool. You know, it's fun. You know, you're sneaking around. It's it's a well designed Splinter Cell level so far. But this is where it gets really stupid. There's like a big freezer you go into here. You can't see anything. There's this mist. I mean, you literally can't see anything. So you have to use your thermals. But there's a bunch of guards in here that for some godforsaken retarded reason can see you through this mist. I don't know what the developers were thinking at all when they designed this part. So you can't, you can't just like go around in here at will. The guards can see you and... You still, it, it just, you got to do this in a really particular way. So you got to come really quickly over here, because this guy's going to come through. And he stops right in the doorway, and you can't take him out from the side. You got to get behind him, so you got to kind of carefully maneuver that. If you try to take him out from the side, you'll only punch him. It, it's like punching him from in front. You have to punch him twice to knock him out, but he will have seen you and started shooting you, and then the other guys will be alerted. So make sure you get all as far around to the backside as possible. Now for this guy, um, even though there's mist everywhere, he would be able to see you because of, look at where the, the light meter is. He would still be able to see you. It's freaking stupid. So you really got to stay out of these guys' line of sight. Find the darkest place in this room and hide the bodies there. There's not tons of great spots to hide bodies in this area. Um, but just try and find the darkest spot you can. Now watch out up here on the left, There's you can see there's a turret there. So we're going to have to go and uh, disable that before we can go forward. But I mean, this, this area of the level doesn't make any sense. Why are they putting turrets in a freezer? Like, why are they so afraid of people getting into this freezer? I don't understand it at all. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, um, continue forward. This part can also be pretty tricky. Watch out for this guy. This guy, oh, he can see you sometimes. It doesn't make sense. So make sure you get into this corner where it's darker. Wait for him to turn around. But do not just walk up and knock him out. Because the other guards will hear that. Go up behind him and grab him from behind. You also need to do that. You see that guy over there on the left? You might not have been able to see him. Well, I'll show you where he is in a second, but sometimes he'll see you. So you have to time that basically perfectly. Otherwise, someone's going to see you. This is kind of the darkest spot, at least that we've found so far. So let's hide him over here in the corner. And then uh, proceed to take out the next guy. I would suggest that you uh, save as often as possible in here because this this part is so frustrating and I'm gonna show you exactly why here in just a minute like it's it, it's it's just hard for the dumbest reasons it's not a well-designed level at least this part of it is not I hate this part of the level All right, so we got a new uh, data stick. You can check that out. Get some more background on what's going on. Now we've got one more guy to take out, and this guy is really annoying. Let me show you why. Because sometimes when you come up behind him, you can't grab him. I don't know why. It just doesn't work. It's freaking so dumb. You got to come at like exactly the right angle from behind him 
in order to grab him. And like I was saying, you don't want to just knock him out from behind. You want to grab him because guys in the other room will hear you and they'll come after you. It's freaking soothing. Okay, this part is literally the most frustrating, unfair part in the entire level. I do not understand what's going on here. So save before you do this. Please save your game. But what you're going to want to do is start crawling on this pipe because there's a turret in the doorway there. But there's a guard who's behind... Not only is there mist everywhere, but he's behind like a huge whatever that thing is. There's a huge barrier in between you and him. But if you don't time this exactly right, see how he like kind of shuffles, he moves a little bit. If he's shuffling back towards you when you're coming through that door, he will see you every time. You also don't want to move while he's moving. So pause, wait for him to move a little bit, and then continue. If you move while he's moving, he will see you. I don't understand this. This is... Th it's freaking so stupid. It's one of the most frustrating parts of the whole game, in my opinion. So you're going to have to save there, practice that a few times, really understand how that goes. Also, make sure you land softly here. Make absolutely certain you are holding down the C button uh, so that you drop quietly. Otherwise, the guy will hear you. There is nowhere to hide. He will see you and he will shoot you. Okay. Once you've gotten through that, you might want to save even again, but grab this uh, bottle here. Throw it down this way. Somebody's coming. And then uh, you should be able to take him out from behind. There we go. Now don't worry too much about hiding his body yet because we need to disable the turret first. So we can hide him in the same place with the other guys we've taken out. There's not really any dark spaces in this area where we can hide him, so... Take him back and hide him over by the other guys you knocked out. One more area to get through. Um, it's, a it's also frustrating. It's not as frustrating as that last part, thank God. But, um... You gotta... You gotta time yourself well. Okay, so that guy is already on his way down there. I'm going to wait for him to come back because the way you want to time this is as soon as he starts walking to that side, that's when you want to come in and grab this guy. Otherwise, you run the risk of getting seen. That was close. Okay, there's kind of a dark spot right here in this hallway. Knock him out. And then we'll just do the same thing. We'll wait here for him to go to the other side. And then we will proceed past him. Might want to go a little more quickly than I did. I barely made it. Now there's another guy who's looking down this way towards where we are, but if you're against this wall, all the way against it, uh, he won't be able to see you. See how dark the room gets right here? That's kind of where his line of sight is. So if you're all the way against the wall, you should be all right. Okay, here's another one of those freaking stupid, makes no sense reasons to have a very frustrating part in your level. So you go up here, and uh, you can do this quietly, you can drop down quietly. Uh, the the gutter, not gutter, um, vent you need to drop down into, you can't approach it from the side. You cannot. You cannot get in that way. It's impossible. You have to get in this way. If you keep going back and forth trying to drop in there, that guy will eventually hear, see you, and start shooting at you. It's really, really dumb. So if you don't know that's coming and you're like, why the heck can't I, can't I drop into this vent? What's going on? Um, that's why you have to approach it from a very specific angle. But finally, we are out of that stupid freezer area. 
and the rest of the level is also frustrating, but in my opinion, not as bad as that part. However, there is a part at the very end of the level where I'm again going to rescind uh, my no killing rule because I think you, I personally believe through having played it probably for two hours straight that there is no way to get through that without killing someone. And you'll see why when we get there. Might want to drop a little bit more covertly uh, than I did. I don't even know if that's the right use of the word covertly. More quietly. You want to drop down a little more quietly than I did there, but it doesn't really matter because you get into the next part of the level anyway. Get here as quickly as you can because this guy's going to come through the room. And uh, we're going to want to get in behind him. Make sure you get him from behind and not from the side. If you punch him from the side, he'll shoot you at least once before you can get the second punch in. That I don't understand that. Like, why, if you punch a guy from behind, is it a one-hit you know thing? If you punch him from in front, it's not. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, watch out for this guy. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and do something here. Uh, it, in case you want to try to get through the very final area of the game without killing anybody, you might want to save your airfoil rounds. So if you want to do that, uh, use sticky shockers. Not sticky shockers. Um, uh, sticky cameras in this part to knock this guy out. If you, get, if you hit someone in the head with a camera, um, it should knock them out. So get this guy's attention. You can just shoot the ground over there and he'll hear it. And then uh, arc your shot a little bit and when he's in range, right now he's not in range. I guess you could try to hit him with a camera from this distance, but it'd be really hard. Try to get him to come in a little bit closer. When he does, you should be able to hit him right in the head with a sticky shocker at the right angle. And I missed him. Holy cow. Oh, I was expecting him to walk. Okay, that's some bad shooting. Anyways, eventually, <laughs> you shoot in the right place, you can hit him in the head with a camera and knock him out. That way you can save your aerofoil rounds and sticky shockers. Alright, now when you take this light out, the turret on the right is going to start shooting at the light, which will let you get by. It's not a very uh, quiet way of doing it, and for some reason these guys over here don't hear that turret going off. But to my knowledge, there's no like way to get in there and turn the turret off without getting shot. So I think that's the best way of doing it, at least in, to my knowledge. Now these turrets, you can get behind and turn them off. Just come back this way, drop down, and you should be able to uh, deactivate these. Okay, now we're going to want to get out our diversion camera. There we go. And what we're going to do now is take these two guys out. Right around here. Gas both of them. And then run in and knock them out. Alright, once you hide the bodies, we need to knock out all of the lights in this room. Got a data stick, by the way, if you want to look at that. There it is. Okay. So there's a light back here. There we go. There's a light right here. And there's 
Where's this one? Where's this light coming from? Is it coming from back here? Oh, there it is. Missed that one. There we go. Okay, so we've taken all the lights out except for one. Now, um, what you're going to want to do here is get out your um, uh, night vision and uh, look at this turret over here. It's, watch its swivel path. When it goes back away from you, quickly get right behind here. And you should be able to do that without getting hit. Then you can take out this light, and when you do that, the turret will shoot at the light. And then you can pass without getting shot. Okay, this next part you're going to want to go quickly and then just duck right to the left. Should be able to do that without getting seen by those guys. Come on, you know you want to watch. I don't. Broadcasting murder is barbaric. You're naive to think it's anything but history. It's a pointless conversation. We don't patrol until the alert quiets. Don't tell me you believe those American super spy stories coming out of Kola. Nikolads believes them? I believe them. Those stories are nothing but Russian winters and Russian vodka. We should be with the others watching the broadcast. Alright, now once these guys pass through, uh, you don't have to worry about them anymore. You're good to go. So, uh, as soon as they are out of sight, just continue forward. Now, this is the part I was talking about, where if you want to try and find a way to do this without killing anyone, be my fetching guest. If you can do it, post a video response. I want to see it. But I think it's impossible to do without killing at least someone. Um, so if I'm going to kill someone, I might as well do it in style. I'm going to do headshots. I'm going to be shooting people in the face. Like, I'm going to kill people and stuff. I'm going to kill people at all. But you're going to want to save here. Uh, get your sticky shockers out if you want to use them. Another annoying thing is I tried to use grenades in this part, and at least in the PC version, the version I'm playing, they only work like half the time. I would throw a grenade like right underneath a guy's feet, and it would blow up, and it would do no damage. I think that it, it might just be a PC problem, uh, because I saw another guy do that on the PS3 version, and it worked like a charm for him, but for me it doesn't work. So I'm just going to shoot people in the face. It's going to, you know, some sharpshooting. Anyways, as soon as this guy's done talking, please save your game so you don't have to go through this whole conversation over and over and over again, because this is going to take some practice, um, especially if you're going to try and do it without killing anyone. But the issue isn't just staying hidden from these guys, it's also preventing them from killing these Chinese government officials and the American soldiers on the opposite side of the room. So you have to not only not let them see you, take them out without killing them, but also keep them from killing these guys. Um, and believe me, it is not easy to do. So, freaking save your game, please, at this part. Because um, if you're going to try and do that, it's going to take you a while. But that's not what I'm going to do, because it's just a stupidly designed part of the level. So, we're just going to shoot this guy right in the face. And we're going to shoot this guy right in the face. And then come all the way up against this wall over here, because this guy's going to lob a grenade. And uh, we don't want to get injured by it. There it goes. Okay, we're going to shoot this guy in the back of the head. And we're going to shoot this guy as quickly as we can. And for some reason, it takes like 40, bullet, uh, 40 bullets to kill him, but luckily we have some med packs. Okay, so there's only really one more guy we have to take care of. And luckily, his AI is not programmed very well. So he's just going to try and run past us without shooting us. And we can just punch him in the face and knock him out, really. Boom. Boom. Okay, so now we just got to kill uh, Niccolo, or Nikolai, or whatever his name is. Uh, this can be a difficult, the most difficult part is getting this guy. Luckily, I got him on the first shot. And that's the end of the level. If you can get through that without killing anyone, please post a video description or a video response. I want to see that because I tried this probably for two or two and a half hours, just this part, and I could not find a way of doing that. Part of it uh, was because I, I just didn't have enough uh, stuff, you know, enough sticky shockers, 
um, or airfoil rounds and stuff like that. So anyways, that's how you beat that level in as ghost a way as possible. Thanks for watching. Peace.